I mean, I think most importantly, we folk, we came out of there and we, we understand we have a goal as a team for the New York Yankees, and that's to win a World Series. And um, obviously this organization, uh, Cashman, and um, the people that are involved with making those decisions felt that bringing me here and uh, along with the other guys that came with me would be the best for that. And, you know, we're, we're excited about, you know, starting the season and, and what, what the season's going to entail. Uh, Andy, do you have a question? Hi, Josh. Uh, we weren't around you, obviously, when you made those comments about Garrett. Mm -hmm. uh, decided to name him uh, specifically last year. So, I guess for our context, like, what, what was the reasoning behind naming specific uh, players in that, and do you have any regrets in doing that? Uh, well, first off, I think uh, when, when I named Garrett Cole as part of the thing, I said, look, he's the first guy that's pitched since suspensions had been handed down. That was what I said about Garrett Cole. And uh, I said that I thought that this was a league problem, right? And those are my words. And I felt like the league has addressed the issues that were at hand. Um, after that, you didn't hear from <clears throat> Excuse me, you didn't hear from me. And, uh, you know, today we're sitting here and our goal is to win a championship for the New York Yankees. And that's where we're at. Uh, Brian Hope to the left. Josh, in your conversation with Garrett this morning, what, what did you need to cover? What did you need to hear from him? What did you need to hear from you? No, I mean, I think we were just having a conversation because obviously there was a big stink that was made out of it last year, right? A lot of conversation went on about it. And uh, I think both sides wanted to be able to meet and address the issue that was at, at hand as far as, um, you know, just hearing one another and ultimately leading us back to our goals. And I keep saying this, but our goal is to win. And both of us are in the same clubhouse now, and that's what we're going to do. Dave, right in the front. Were you wondering, Josh, what that first at bat was going to be against him after you guys had had that uh, back and forth? Uh, not necessarily. You know, I've, I've stepped in the box a lot of times. I've been whatever. Whatever happened, happened. Um, obviously, he felt like it was a better idea to probably strike me out, which he did a few times. <laughs> so at, that, at the end of the day, uh, I'm happy to be on the same team and not have to strike out against him more. So you guys just walked away from that conversation just feeling good about it? And just left, left I feel like we had a good conversation. Uh, Christy to the right, and then Justin. Christy, go ahead. Josh, what was your reaction after you heard about the trade? What were your thoughts, and what has it been like since you heard about it? Uh, I was shocked. I, I, I w w really wasn't uh, knowing what th that w this was going to happen. Um, you know, and, and this kind of brings me back to what I wanted to say earlier is I, I do, I want to thank the Minnesota Twins organization for uh, the time that I spent there and obviously signing me to a contract. Uh, and then now they're uh, between him and Cashman and the Minnesota Twins organization, you know, they're giving me an opportunity to come here and uh, be a part of uh, what should be a contending team. Uh, just in the back left. Have your feelings changed about him since trade? I never thought Garrett Cole was a bad person. I don't know if that's what you're assuming. No, not about his character in terms of his game and the comments you reference are touched at the top. Uh, I think at the at the end of the day, both of us are competitors. And I respected Garrett Cole for being a competitor and, and obviously when you watch him pitch he wants to he competes and he wants to win. And I think him and I are similar in that uh, scenario. Um, any other further things about that? I think the league has addressed, and that's not up for me to talk about really anymore. If I think, if I thought that it was still an issue, I would, I would still talk about it. But I don't. Uh, Ryan, over to the right. Josh, curious uh, with the abbreviated spring training, how much of a difference will that make? And as players, is there a part of you that maybe likes the shorter spring training? Um, uh, I mean, we're, we're playing the hand that we're dealt right now. I mean, and there's really, um, no other way to go about it. You try to uh, go about it in a professional manner and, uh, you know, every day going forward until the season start is very important. 
uh, whether it's uh, you know base running, you know hitting, taking ground balls every every day to where a little bit longer of a spring training you can kind of take. I don't want to say breaks, but uh, you can kind of have a blow every now and again. But every every day is def definitely going to be key for uh, each individual here. Uh, Eric, and then we'll go to Greg. Josh is a uh, opposing team player. What were your thoughts coming into the United State? Did you enjoy playing there? Did you have a rough time with fans? Did you enjoy the defense? Uh, I mean, I, I never really felt like I had a rough time with fans. I mean, it, I think one thing you'll learn about me is I, you know, have a pretty good time when I'm playing baseball. So. Uh, at the end of the day, I mean, I think New York has, as an organization has uh, obviously a history of being a very successful franchise, and it's something that I'm excited to be a part about.